hello friends in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about the third step of uh, uh, recombinant uh, recombination sorry <laughs> not recombinant so we are going to talk about the third step of recombination uh, which is called actually the homologous recombination it is called the resolution or the junction separation for, for simplicity so what we have seen in case of recombination first single stranded nicks are originated then a strand invasion which is the second step the third step was a branch migration that means the migration of this junction towards a particular direction okay so let me take a color okay now yeah okay so uh, for example strand uh, cut originates from here then the strand invasion occurs for example this is the strand invasion at this direction and then the branch migration into a particular direction for example in this direction in this case okay right after all these uh, three important steps it's a time for regenerating two different DNAs now what we are looking in recombination as the name suggests it is the combination of DNA materials with each other now right after the combination we mu must resolve each DNA strands because this resolve step is really important otherwise we cannot generate the separate DNA strands so we have to generate the separated DNA strands right after all the procedures which are being carried out throughout this recombination steps now what are the type of resolution can happen now, there are two different ways that a resolution can happen now if we look at the structure if this is the DNA structure two DNAs are uh, recombined with its, uh, themselves like this way and if we just uh, 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 rotate this DNA in such a way we can find uh, this in a single plane so for our simplicity's sake we are taking it as a single plane it is denoted by this uh, square uh, at the background that means all of these DNA strands at the same plane and we are looking at them now wha what what are the type of uh, uh, or origin uh, of this uh, recombination region or uh, uh, for example in this case this is one DNA strands this is another DNA now these two DNA are crossed with uh, are crossing each other as you can see in this case they are crossing each other at this particular point right so what we need to do in this case we need to separate this crossing at this particular point now how can we separate this crossing now there are two ways one is the way of separating the crossing vertically uh, there is another way of separating it horizontally if we cross it vertically then it, it will generate a particular type of products for example if we cut this in this way then uh, if at the end we will have something some strand like this and if we cross it horizontally we will end up with something other uh, product so the basic take home message is whatever you you have done you must restore you must restore this point or you must restore the two different uh, DNS at the end okay so right after that for example this is uh, the DNA sequences now if we uh, cut it into a particular uh, region for example here if we cut it uh, like this the end product let me change it again okay now the end product we'll see will looks like this okay this is the end product look like if we cut it uh, vertically okay so vertical uh, cutting will uh, form this kind of products now if we carefully look the product you can see in both of the DNA strands for example this is the if, if this is the DNA 1 and this is the DNA 2 in both of the DNAs uh, two DNA strands are there and both of these DNA strands are recombined that means few part of it is a uh, uh, particular type and other rest of the part is different type again the same way small is different and this is another part so this is not made up with the same type of continuous sequence so they are varying that means each of the strands are crossover strands right so remember the crossover during the meiosis step the crossover means the recombination event uh, and after the recombination event what are the structure of the DNA that, that is called the crossover products now in this case we, we can see in all these two cases that none of the single strand is continuous they are made up with two different type of nucleotide sequences one from each homologous pair of chromosomes that's why we call it the crossover products or we can also call it the splice recombination product right and if we look at in other way it is the second way of cleaving this uh, site cleaving this uh, holiday junction we call this holiday junction uh, uh, giving uh, the privilege to the discoverer of this junction which is holiday 
now if we cut uh, this this holiday junction horizontally in this case which is uh, denoted with psi 2 now if we, it will generate two different stands again because this is uh, the way this is uh, why uh, we create this uh, cleavage this is why we resolve two strands because at the end we need to generate two separate chromosomes or two separate dnas now right after that in this kind of uh, stand resolution what we can produce, we can produce these two DNA strands, and in both type of DNAs, which is if we denote with three and four, and if we if we think about this three and four, we can find that uh, in both of the strands, in both of the DNAs, sorry, in both of the DNAs, one strand is conserved in both of the DNA one stand is conserved. So if we start thinking about this recombination at the very first step these two strands are conserved during this whole recombination and one of the strand is recombined so on a whole this kind of products are called non crossover products because we are not having any uh, changes uh, of uh, of be between the strands in both of the strands right like the previous cases in in the previous case where we talked about the splice recombination product or crossover products we are having uh, uh, discontinuous or uh, strands or we are having uh, rather we can say uh, a non conserved strand in non conserved strands of the dna but in this case we are having one conserved strand of a dna in both of the chromosomes right so that's why we call this kind of product non crossover products or also it is they are called the patch recombination products so splice recombination product means vertical cutting uh, they are also called the crossover products and patch recombination product means the horizontal cut or horizontal resolution we called it non crossover products okay so that is in a whole about the resolution and remember the take home message resolution obviously important because if we start with two different dna we must end with two different dna whatever is happening in between the steps we must end up with the same type of uh, the same number of dnas we begin with right so dna number will be the same the gene numbers will be the same what will vary is just the combination of nucleotide sequences that's what recombination actually is okay that's it and i hope it will help you thank you